Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve an error code 0x8007035. Specifically, if you're trying to map a network drive and you get an error that the network path was not found, this tutorial will be for you guys. And it might actually give you a little bit of information saying to check the spelling of the name or there could be a problem with your network. So in this brief tutorial, I'm going to show you guys a quick workaround to hopefully resolve this problem. So we're going to jump right into it. And the first thing we're going to do is head over to the star menu. And we're going to open it up. And now we're going to type in services. Should be listed as the desktop app on Windows 10 when underneath services. So you want to left click to open that up. Okay, so now in the services window, I'm going to expand the view a little bit so we can see where we're going. And we're going to be looking for something that says TCP forward slash IP net BIOS helper. So we're going to scroll down on this list pretty far here until we get to, like I said, TCP slash IP net BIOS helper. I'm going to double click on it. Underneath startup type, if it's set to manual or anything other than automatic, you want to set it to automatic. So click on automatic and make sure it's a startup type automatic. And then you want to click on apply to save our change and then OK to get out of that window. Now we're going to close out of the services window and we're going to head back to the start menu and open it up. Now we're going to type in network and sharing center should be listed right above control panel so you want to left click on that okay and now underneath network and sharing center there should be something that says network near the top underneath active networks underneath connections directly across from it there should be something that says ethernet you want to left click on that now at the bottom left you want to click on the properties button please know you might need administrative privileges in order to access this and then there should be something that says Internet Protocol Version 4 TCP forward slash IPv4. So what you want to do now, you want to left click on it and then left click on Properties. Now at the bottom of this window, you want to click on the Advanced button right here. So now underneath Advanced TCP slash IP settings, what you want to select is the WINS or WINS tab. And then you want to select enable NetBIOS over TCP forward slash IP. So click on that if it's not already selected. And then click on OK. Click OK to close out of this other window and then close out of the Ethernet properties window as well. I know there's a lot of windows to close out here, but I promise we're almost done. So the next thing we're going to do is head back to the star menu and we're going to open it up. And now you want to type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. And then you want to right click on the best match, it should say regedit. And then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control window, you want to select yes. So now on the left side, you want to go underneath the H key local machine by expanding it by either clicking the little arrow or double click on the folder. And then once you're done doing that, you can click on the little arrow next to the software folder. Now you want to expand the Microsoft folder as well. You want to scroll down to get to Microsoft licensing. So MS licensing, and then you want to expand this folder. And then there should be something that says hardware ID and store. You want to delete both of these. So you can export them just if you wanted to back them up and save. However, I'm going to just delete them because I know I definitely don't need them here. But like I said, you can export them if you needed to. So you just go up, right click on the file and then export. 
just to save it in case you made a mistake. But we're going to just delete both of these. Pretty simple. So I just use my keyboard delete key. You can right click on it and then click on delete from the context menu as well. You don't have to do it the same way I'm doing it. So once I'm doing that, I'm going to close out of the registry editor. If we were to go underneath network, and you wanted to go map your network drive, you should be able to just go through the steps you were going through before you found this tutorial. And hopefully you should be able to enter your credentials and you should be able to access your network drive and you should be good to go. So I do hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.